Hi everyone, this is Megan Fonfera, the Client Onboarding Specialist for Midwest Labs. Thanks for tuning in today for the third video in my series on my lab portal tutorials. If you did not see the first two, please log in and subscribe to our YouTube page where you can view the first video where I show you how to sign up and get logged into a my lab portal account and the second one is how to submit your sample paperwork so today we're just going to go over just a few other additional uh, features you have in your portal so once you get logged in you'll notice here on your left side dashboard will be shipping labels so when you're ready to send in those samples you can click on shipping labels you'll have choices here from UPS and FedEx and pricing so let's say you're going to send in your uh, shipment through UPS ground today you'll select the button next to that and then you'll see the total down here you will not be charged for any of these labels until they're physically received and scanned in by the lab so uh, down below you'll click print label and this takes you right to your ARS label that you'll print off and place on your box when you send in your sample. If using FedEx, uh, the nice thing here is the uh, schedule a pickup option. So just click on schedule pickup. You'll be able to then select your date, contact information and address here. And you can obviously select a one time address or just the address that's on your account. And then you'll click schedule pickup. Another option here is the account management tab. So let's say you want to add users to your account. This would be where you do that. So you'll go down to user email, add in their email address and click the add user button. That's going to populate this information here as well as the permissions to select or unselect for the additional person. So account admin is again full access to everything that you normally see here in the account. Uh, order test is just to submit that sample paperwork under submit samples. View reports is just to go in and view those reports. Order supplies is just going in and ordering supplies, which I'll show you in a moment. And then of course, billing, which is where you can view your invoices and pay, which I will also show you here shortly. So once you select their permissions, you'll hit save permissions they will get an email address where they will have to finish registration just like you did and put in their information and then get logged in with their own password and then if at any point you need to change any information for yourself you would do so under the my profile so this is where you can change your phone number email address address and then of course update your password to select repass reset password So a good feature here is if you're looking to order some supplies through Midwest Labs, you can click order supplies, put in your quantities here to the right, and then up here to the top right is your summary of your items and your price, so just click view cart, make sure everything looks good. Hit next, select the address again, and then submit your order. So another feature of the portal is the option to view and pay for your invoices. So you'll just scroll down to view invoices. Here you can view the account number, invoice date, due date, and balance. You can also click invoice, which will bring up all of the report numbers and lab numbers included in this invoice and the breakdown of pricing so you know everything that's included and that will look like this and then you can click on pay invoice this is going to bring you to a page with your running total and then allow you to pay with the card you'll just enter your information here accept the terms you can also save this card for future use or select a card that's already on file and just hit process order. So hopefully you have gotten into the portal and 
then looked around here at the other additional uh, benefits and features we offer. If at any point you have questions, uh, you can always email me or call me directly. My contact information will be here. And again, please tune in to our YouTube channel so that you can get uh, more tutorials and future educational content such as the MyLab Portal tutorial. So thank you so much for joining us today and we look forward to doing business with you. Have a great day.